The 20th running of the annual Belikin La Ruta Maya River Challenge commenced this morning in the twin towns of San Ignacio Santa Elena in the west, where paddlers will traverse a whopping 140 miles over a four day period. The first leg of 49 miles is the second to the longest stretch. The various company sponsored teams of three will make their way from the Hawksworth Bridge through the various village along the George Price Highway and ends at Banana Bank just outside of Belmopan. After running this race for 20 years, we have had ups and downs. I think this might be one of the lowest um, in terms of uh, participation team-wise. Um, several factors, perhaps um, the recession kicking in a little bit on it, um, because it's a very costly sports to, to maintain because it has its own fan base, it has its own um, mechanisms and how these pilots do their thing for the uh, next four days. So, but we're quite satisfied that, that um, we have tried to maintain the, the, the sanity of the race, taking into account the culture, history and environment. Um, where we're conscious that we need to do more to bring awareness of the Belize River and the things that are happening along the, the Belize River. As of 5.30 this morning, preparations began as paddlers gathered along the banks of the Macaw River for the 2017 La Ruta Maya Challenge. 49 teams have registered, 48 of which have already checked in. But when the gun goes off at 7 o'clock, they will make their way from the Hawksworth Bridge to Banana Bank, a whopping 49 miles as the first leg of the challenge. Almost five hours later, Team Niche won the first leg, with Coop Sheet Metal and Smart Warriors seconds away. Throughout the race, however, Team Niche had maintained a favorable distance from the chasing duel, only to be overtaken after passing the Agrippina Kowich Bridge. We worked hard to, we wanted to win this leg, but we were coming like probably a minute and change ahead, but we couldn't maintain it all the way. We, those guys worked together and they catch us down a little bit. but. Well, thank God we, we still win the first leg by probably three seconds, two seconds. Based on the results from day one, the defending champions Jerry Rayburn, Jerry Kante and Daniel Cruz of Coop Sheet Metal are not going down without a fight. We train hard, we put a lot of work into this race and you know all these guys want to win, everybody want to win and it, it's, it's, a, it's a very tough race and we had a little bad start and we had to work to close the gap and everybody, see, everybody saw what happened. So The second leg of the competition, which takes the paddlers from Banana Bank to Doublehead Cabbage Village in rural Belize District, is the longest of the canoe race, 60 miles, but less challenging. So what are the anticipations for the top teams going into the second leg? Tomorrow we just want to sit and see what happens, try to sprint on the finishing. As we already have about three seconds ahead, we'll try to maintain that. No, it's the longest leg, 60 miles. Uh, uh, what kind of preparation did you guys do to ensure that oh, you know how to finish that leg? Yeah, well, we work all hard. This is the hardest leg right here. Tomorrow is more deep, it's easier. We just got to race smart. Tomorrow is a long stage. You know, we're going to see what happens. It's, you know, it's going to come down to a sprint tomorrow, and it's still anybody's race. So, uh, you do know that oh, everybody they're going after, you know, because they're not the one to beat, right? <laughs> well, that's the way it is. Dwayne Moody for News 5.